So they're called taste receptors, right? So you really, you have T2R receptors, which is a bitter receptor. You have a T1R, which is a sweet receptor, but um, T2Rs, we'll take them specifically because that's what this is really about. When these receptors are stimulated in the sinonasal tract, in the oral mucosa, when they're stimulated by a potential pathogen, whether it be a virus, a bacteria, a fungus, or, you know, cancer cells is sort of the, the new um, target that we're looking at. They do several things. So some of those are they increase mucociliary clearance. And so they will increase ciliary feet frequency and mucus production to sort of sweep things away to get the, the pathogen out of there. But then also one of their byproducts is nitric oxide which is really where we had the idea behind COVID because it looked like that the nitric oxide prevented maturation of the spike protein. So that was sort of the idea of people with high expression should in theory have less of a response and using targeted prophylaxis to stimulate the receptors as a response to prevent uh, upper respiratory infections. But the ability of these receptors to contribute to immunity is just so impressive because it, it influences taste as an aversion, but then there's also this chemical response that is protective, um, both prophylactically, but now it also looks like, based on the Penn study, at literally killing off cancer cells. And that is, that's so fascinating. 